children. I, Nilima Salvi, working as assistant professor, Department of Pharmaceutics, Smriti College of Pharmaceutical Education, Indore. So, in previous video, we had discussed about the stability analysis. Stability analysis in solution and solid solids form. So, in solution stability, in previous video, we already had discussed about the effect of pH ionic strength and co-solvent onto the stability how the ph and its strength and co-solvent affect the stability of a final product and now today we are going to start another topic in so, uh, solution stability that is light and temperature how light and temperature affects stability of final product so start with the light in light if drug solution is kept in if we store any solution of drug into container like clear glass ampule, this is clear glass ampule, or in amber colored glass container, or in case of yellow green colored glass container, or we can store the formulation into the container which is stored into the cardboard pack or it is wrapped into alum aluminum foil which act as a control or barrier for the light to affect the stability of a final product. So these are the possibilities or how you can store the solution into the containers. So in all these glass containers light directly could interfere the stability of your final product or drug solution so if the light affects the solution then we store the solution into the amber colored glass container or we can wrap the bottle into aluminum foil or in cardboard packages so this was the light effect of light onto the stability after that the stability study are carried out into the above containers in all these containers we perform stability analysis for the drug solutions. The next is the temperature. How the temperature affects the stability of final product or the drug solution stability. So the rate constant that is K of degradation reaction of a drug varies with temperature according to the Arrhenius equation. So how the degradation reaction of drug vary along with the temperature. So uh, as per the RNS equation, the K equals to A small e to the power minus E A uh, oblique capital R and T from which capital K is rate constant, capital A is frequency factor, E capital E is energy of activation R is gas constant and T is absolute temperature. So this is the Arrhenius equation through which we can detect the rate constant of any drug solution. And if we take antilog for the same, then antilog A minus E A upon R uh, uh, 1 upon capital T. So in this antilog we can plot this rate constant versus the temperature. So in this we will get a slope. This slope is directly equal to minus Ea upon R that is energy of activation and rate uh, sorry gas constant. So then after that we start with the procedure. Then what is the procedure? To determine the or to find out the effect of temperature, first we prepare different buffer solutions. Then we keep this buffer solution in different different temperature. Then we determine the rate constant that is K at, at each temperature. And then anti-log that is K is plotted against the temperature. Then we will get the slope which will give the rate constant. Then after that what is the 
inference of this RNS equation or this procedure. If we will get a linear relationship, it means a constant decay mechanism over the temperature. It means the rate of degradation is in constant manner. If the line is linear and if the line is non-linear, then the change in rate is a rate limiting step of the reaction or there is a change into the decay mechanism. Then at where we can use this temperature analysis, we can use to predict the shelf life of the drugs. Then the, how we can conclude this, if the drug is sufficiently stable, then the development can be started at once for the drug solution and if the this process um, this result is unstable then further we have to investigate the performance of the this procedure again we have to perform with the other solutions thank you after solution stability start with the solid state stability now the drug is in solid form or in solid state. So how the drug or stability could be analyzed in solid state. So first of all what is the objective to find the solid state stability. In this first is identification of a stable storage condition for the drug. First of all we have to identify that on which storage condition the drug would be stable or then identification of compatible excipients for a formulation. We have to identify that in a formula whether the content or excipients are compatible with each other or not in solid state. So to fulfill this two objectives we have to perform solid state stability. After that the characteristic. So solid state reaction are much slow as compared to the liquid state degradation reaction. So the mechanism is slow. That's why we can easily identify the mechanism by which the degradation is getting or occurring into the formulation. So after that to determine the mechanism of degradation we can use TLC, UV or visible spectrophotometry then fluorescence spectroscopy can be required. After that to study the polymorphic changes. If, uh, if we have to study regarding the polymorphic changes into the formulation in solid state. So we have to go for the DSC differential scattering calorimetry or infrared spectroscopy could be required. After that in case of surface discoloration, if there is a change into the surface or color change onto the surface of solid doses form, then this discoloration could be due to the oxidation or the reaction with the other content or excipient or additive of the formulation. So we have to go for the surface reflectance equipment, this could be used to determine such type of changes which could be occur into the solid state or in solid doses forms. After that, the sample scheme for determination of bulk stability profile of a new drug. If we have a new drug and we have to study its stability profile, then the storage condition should be 4 week, 8 week and 12 week. On this much time we have to perform stability study. After that the temperature would be 5 degree centigrade into the or refrigerator then 22 degree centigrade that is room temperature 37 degree centigrade ambient humidity or 37 degree centigrade on or with 75% relative humidity. So on this condition we have to perform stability analysis for the solid doses forms then the box or the packaging material it could be clear box or amber, col uh, amber colored glass bottle 
this could be or yellow green colored bottle could be or we can wrap this bottle into the cardboard box so there would be no inference of the light onto the formulation after that we can go for the 50 degree centigrade ambient humidity in that oxygen head space also would be there into the bottle or into container and nitrogen head space again nitrogen and oxygen would be there into the head space of your container or storage bottle after the 70 degree centigrade ambient humidity and 90 degree centigrade and ambient humidity so on this profile or on this scheme we can establish any stability profile for new drug after this we will discuss in next video the procedure that how we can perform the stability or solid state stability analysis thank you